This is Frank Cisco. It's November 25th, and I'm at the home of Steve Acunto, and we're supplementing some of the images that we've seen on the wall and awards and a discussion with Stephanie um, and Steve of his amazing life. And this photo is a photo of you and your dad. Yeah, is that right? My dad, Stephen, Stephano the first, actually Stephen. Hmm. Uh, taken and at the um, side of the house at nine, 9 Highland Boulevard where I was born. Wow, that's great, great and shot. And this is a... This is my mother. She actually knitted that suit. It was orange and, and beige. Hmm. And she's standing next to her car, a Franklin air-conditioned car made of aluminum. Wow, that was and, special. Uh, in those days, when down. people got a car, it was quite a novelty in the neighborhood. Everyone hmm. would come to look at it. You mentioned to me that she was one of the first drivers in Staten yes, Island. Is that right? She's an actor in humanitarian causes, such as the Red Cross. She had a marvelous singing voice and sang for charity. Is that right? In those days, it was un it's unacceptable for women to go on stage. And your dad was a music composer, yes, is that right? Yes, he was a composer. Yeah. So did they perform together? No. No? Uh, he, he accompanied her when she was practicing on the piano. And this is the home in which you uh, lived as a boy? I was born there. Oh, you were born My here? My dad right? built that. It was a bachelor home. Oh. And we, we, he got married and it was no longer a bachelor home. He built this? Yes, he did. He really? had it. Wow. Of course, he wasn't a builder. Right. Wow. Is that a porch up on top? or? That's a balcony. A balcony. Spanish yeah. style. It was a Spanish-style house. Yeah. Balcony on that in the front was same type and on the side, mm. Spanish type. Is this anyone we know in this That's car? That's my just... father. Oh, is that right? And he's sitting in a loge, it's a German car with brass appointments, and, uh, and he used to enjoy that car uh, to the health because it had four speeds. He could he could pass the Pierce Sowers and the Lincoln and the Packards <laughs> and the rest of it. What was the name of it again? It was a loger. A loger. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all, all this, a, this is a photo of you, Steve? Yeah, and I had you... a nursemaid. <laughs> Would you oh, believe that? Right. And her name was Nellie, and she's trying to keep me down, as she always did. She's got yeah, a nice a smile on her face. The maverick, even at that age. And this is a... Um... This is a photograph of the Narrows, uh, and uh, that's the way it looked when I was 12 years old. It's and that's a black and white? Ago, yeah. Wow. Quite a few weeks ago is right. And this is another shot of, is this, these are the narrows here too? That's still the narrows, yes. Yeah. And this is a, a view from a hilltop or? It was from the top of, of the hill mm. uh, adjacent to the uh, Highland Boulevard. Tell me about Wrigley's. Well, this was, a, it was rather interesting. I uh, slept in a room that faced this Wrigley factory and being very high strung, sometimes it was difficult to sleep. Now, this Wrigley sign you see here had a moving sign at the end of it, which was Wrigley stationary, and then it was here, there, and everywhere. It was a moving sign. Oh, really? So I count the number of times it uh, repeated. How old were you then, about? Oh, ah, yes, about 12. Yeah, that's fine. And that's the look of the, of the, of the beach, which was rough. Yeah. Sandy Beach, not, not to a place where people swim from. Right, and I see here you're with a bunch of boys here. Yeah, right? these are two of my friends that somebody happened to catch that. And we were standing on a rock facing, to go back to the narrow, you can see sailboats yeah. and old, old uh, ships of the era. That's Put great. And you're the one on the right here. Yes. With your hand covering, uh, well, shielding the sun, I guess. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think mm. it was. And these, there are three other kids here. They're, they're friends Two of mine. standing and one kneeling or sitting. They were friends of mine, neighborhood friends. So what happened? The tide would go out and you guys would go? Yeah, uh, well, the tide would go out and uh, it was a vast expanse of rough, hmm. sandy, rocky beach. Hmm. Dangerous beach. And the, hmm. later the large ships came in, the ocean liners. Wow. They'd sink their anchors into the sand, and there were a lot of whirlpools out there, and dangerous. And now a view of the Narrows now. Yeah, well, when I returned there recently, it was about 70 years ago, I'd say, yeah. 
Wow. Uh, I had my back was to the railroad town, which you can see here. Yes, sir. Right. And standing on the Austin estate, the Alice Austin estate was at Two Highland Boulevard. She was a renowned photographer. And this is a shot of that estate. Yeah, that's the gate to the estate, which is exactly the same as it was when I was a boy. Is that right? It must be made of some particular, some outstanding. Well, oh, that must have given you a chill when you went back there I and you saw the... that the same gate was there. And, uh, the only thing that was different was that she, Mrs. Austin's uh, descendants had a, had a fence built. I see. That's the interior of the house. Mm. It was it was rather a, was a tall ceiling at all. Was, okay. In those days, the men or the people were shorter, I guess. Now I'm going to come back to the area that you grew up in. Yeah. This is a view of what? Uh, do you know the street? That's an accordionist, and that was on, I believe, uh, uh, Bay Street. Is that right? Huh. And he. Uh, this 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 type of accordionist played on the ferry as well. Where's the monkey? Well, the monkey may have been left home. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to go up. You mentioned that your was it your grandfather? Yeah, my grandfather was was the founder of that church. Saint Joseph was in the Italian section of the, the area, Saint Mary's Street, okay. Saint Mary's Avenue, rather. He founded the yes, church. Yes, he founded the church, and before it was removed and. Uh, we, we built on the other side, or rather built on the other side of the street. That was Tompkins Avenue. I see. Um, my grandfather, had, there was a huge white uh, marble plaque dedicated to my grandfather. Was he a minister or, no, or no, he, he built not, it? He, he was a banker, but he, he I see. donated. He was okay. very generous and humanitarian and donated all hmm. So this humanitarian streak runs through your family. I see I why you were like that. Hope so. Okay, now this is uh, what Stevedore. No, that's uh, that is the docks mm. on Edge off Edgewater Street, and the, what they did there, the freighters came in, and there was what you call a shape up. Right. Many people who were seeking employment as longshoremen gathered there and waited to be selected by a man who was called who was called a Stevedore, mm. and he selected the various people from this large group of men who hoped to get employment for the day. And they were identified because they wore bailing hooks. They were curved. They had a handle on them, were curved. I and see. they were stuck out of their belts. Here's a view of uh, the Staten Island Ferries. Yes. You'll note, Frank, that these gentlemen sitting there were wearing bowlers. Bowlers are, oh, the bowler hats. Yes, they were. <laughs> and this ferry took about, I'd say, 25 minutes to uh, traverse the Narrows. I see. From uh, being from. I always think of Laurel and Hardy when I see those guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they wore those things. A lot of people wore them. They but were in the, vogue for a while there? Yeah. But it took, as I said, about 24 minutes or more. Oh, is that right? To, for the ferry to traverse from the Narrows to Borough Hall on Staten Island. Okay. You, I used to walk around that later on. I went to school, St. Francis Xavier School mm. in New York. I used to walk around that the entire time, walk around or run around the entire time that the uh, that the ferry took to make the, to the, make the trip. Crossing. Okay. Now this is a uh, this is St. Mary's Church. Yes, that's where my my parents, where the Maverick was born, was baptized. <laughs> Uh, the fountain is still there exactly the way it was. And it's Gee. Really sort of moving. And this me. is a photo of it. The church is 150 years old. and uh, Beautiful church. Uh, yes. It's it's beautiful. Somewhat Spanish in style. I would say it is in, in uh, architecture. Mm. Yes. And then next to it is a, is the rectory, is that right? And next to it is the rectory. And we're going to get a photo later of the school. Yes. Okay. Now, when you were back at the school, well, well, this is a photo in the church of the crucifix. Yes, that same crucifix. Statue of Christ. Sits in exactly the same place where it was when I went to school. Nothing has changed in the church. The pews were oak and they're still there. Hmm. The, the only thing they did was to remove the altar rail. You know, now they have people right. standing and receiving communion. Right, and this is a statue that was outside. The statue just donated to the church of the, the Michael Conception. That's right. 
And what are these? Uh, well, those, that's the interior of the school, and those are grad graduates that were uh, okay. hanging on the wall. And this is a, one of the students? That's, uh, yes, that's the auditorium, which has, is unchanged. And that's, of course, today's student, uh, yesterday's old timer. <laughs> and who's this? Now, that's the lady who's been the church uh, secretary for 50 years. So she put, turned the lights on, we went to the church, and it was quite uh, exciting. Wow, that must have been looking back on all of this. It was very quite nostalgic and kind of moving. <laughs>